hi friends what's this demo this is the entry box the we are entering some text here b c so here the number of it is shows the number of characters we have entered inside this entry box and moment we increase 3 then fourth character onwards that will be background color will change to yellow now we'll say further one more so moment it reach 7 and beyond the background color becomes green now let's decrease it we can see based on that moment it falls to uh, goes to uh, 6 or less it is yellow again we can bring it so it became red this is like something showing your password strength and all we can show it we'll see how this works here is a blank window it's a template so we have just uh, added one font uh, higher size one font tuple so time size is 46 and it's a normal that we will be using in our window let's just run this and see the blank window once here it is so this in this we will add our first let's add the label first we are using one label and one entry label to display the our what are, how many characters are entered so we'll say tk label now my underscore w is my parent window declared at line number two now what i am doing is i am giving slightly width width equal to uh, because I am not uh, expecting more, only single character will be displayed, so I am giving 5. Then font equal to font 1. This is the higher size font, whatever I have declared at line number 5. So let's place this on the, in our grid. So we will say l1 dot grid row equal to 0 and column equal to what 0, the first one. So that's all. So now will go for a entry box so we'll give the name as e1 you can give any name entry now where it is parent window my underscore w now here font again equal to font 1 now here i am giving width equal to width is 10 let's give because let's up entry up to 10 characters now e1 i'll place it on grid you on grid now what is the grid is again you will be row 0 the same row row 0 and right of the first label so i am giving column equal to 1 so first one is at 0 so this thing and here slightly i am giving the top edge the fad x so equal to 20 so it will not flush with the top edge so that's all now my layout is ready so this just again once again let's run this yeah here it is We'll declare two string variables. So str1 equal to tk dot string var. Now I am I had to by default I am giving the parent window. Even if I don't give also it will take the pa parent window. So str2 one more string variable tk dot string var my underscore w. Now these two string variables what one I will be connect to this as label so the label one i will connect str2 so text variable is equal to str2 and here in the entry box i will connect it to str1 so i am writing text variable str1 so this this two are the important two string variables i have created now now let's come the most important part is what is the trace method the you can see here this str1 is connected to the entry box so here i am writing str1 dot tres now here what way is w means whenever the str1 changes the value changes it will you it will call back a function so what is that i am giving the name my bg so whenever this uh, str1 changes its values means a user has entered change the to another character another character it enters another in that position my bg will be called where is the function my bg i am just going to write that so for that purpose let me come to the top here i am defining my bg sorry diff my bg now here it will receive lot of arguments so i am giving ar Yes, it will receive functions uh, values so inside this function i will write my code so let me just give pass first so till now nothing will change only thing because every time i enter a text 
the function my bg will be called so its code is okay or not let's just run once up to this yeah fine nothing will happen now okay so this text i have entered now let me remove this pass and enter my code here what i will do is first i will use x a variable i am declaring now str1 now str1 dot get because str1 is a string variable so here and it is connected to the e1 so this what user has entered i will i will uh, get that value by using the get method i cannot just like that str1 x equal to str1 i can't use because i have to read what it has done but i will not fix it the what user has entered i am more interested what is the length of the character user has entered so i am using len function to get that value so str1 will give me the what the user has entered then the len function will give me the total number suppose a b c i entered then x will carry the value of 3 so x is a integer value now what i will do i will just print the uh, value what the x the value whatever it is by using the s set x str2 is connected to here the label the text variable is here str2 you can see and that value i am setting it the number actually x is the number of characters that i want to display as you have already seen in the demo so up to this point let's check it so i hope it is clear but it is okay now a b c so what a moment I am entering a character, you can see at line number 16, the trace method triggers the mybg. Mybg function is here. So mybg, inside mybg, x value is calculated, taking this, what I have entered here, the number, and the number is displayed. So if I go on increasing, the number also goes on increasing. Inside this, we'll, now we'll write for the our changing the background. So what you are telling, if x is less than or equal to 3 now this condition so at this condition what will happen is e1 dot config now what i am configuring is bz equal to yellow or you want to give any other value sorry starting will be will start with red so red you want to give any color you can give so as long as x is less than or equal to 3 the background will be red so this is how the config uh, method works now let if now elif means if suppose moment it exceeds 3 now what happens till x is less than or equal to 6 i'm just giving another stage here so i will say e1 dot config then inside that bz equal to yellow you change the color whatever you want so moment it exceeds the three so this condition will not be true this condition will fall so it will go to next here it is yellow now what i will do i will one more condition i am adding a leaf so x is less than equal to nine now what happens e1 dot config bg equal to light green or you can give hex code also whatever color you want you give it so the, this is the logic here you just think elif takes suppose if condition fails then next elif if this is true then it will not come the next one so light green chance is not there so it will go to yellow now if you are exceeding six then this will fail this will fail then this will it will exceed it will try this one so a leaf condition and it will be successful okay now let's just run this and we'll see this this is main to learn the configuration and how the string variable trace method works here it is i am just a b c okay now i am going for a one more character so the background change e f g so moment i exceed six it is become so i can continue it so like this so this is how you can give suppose you are you are using a weak password or a strong password in fact this you can uh, mask this uh, characters also by giving star there is exclusively one tutorial it is there for us how to uh, by using a check button you can uh, mask this character so the stars will be displayed so or let's just see that
let's add that option now i'll just scroll down a bit here in the entry box we'll add that option so so equal to star fine so i've saved it now let's run and see what is the now i'll say a b c d e f whatever i am typing it is not showing like password or thing now let's try one more thing after exceeding moment it comes to the light green or green zone it should show so for that purpose inside this last elif will write e1 dot config now which option it is the so option equal to right so now let's see what happens we'll run this fine so a b c d e f g fine now you can see all the characters are visible now so because we, this because of this line number 15 here it is so the, this got executed and it has restored it that's all friends i hope it has a good learning for you for the because that way config and the key is the trace method so we uh, request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add this uh, interesting tutorials and please share this with your friends and uh, ask them also request them to subscribe to our channel thank you for watching and once again please subscribe to our channel